everyone and welcome back to another video so today i've got another Timu haul for you as you can see from the bag um so i've got some interesting things in this one so before we get started i just want to tell you some information about Timu. so they are an online marketplace a bit like amazon or aliexpress where you can get all sorts of products nail products um is what i buy from them but you can buy other stuff as well so they've got all like um kitchenware and stuff for your car and storage stuff and um, the storage items they've got are really good and the best thing about them is the prices are like aliexpress prices really really cheap but unlike with other brands you don't have to sit and wait for ages for everything to come so everything that i've ordered usually gets here within a week i've never had anything take a lot longer than that um, and also if you use my code which is up there on the screen that will get you 30 percent off your first order if you haven't downloaded the app yet if you download it using my code you will get that discount you'll also get a coupon bundle discount which depending on your country um, is so many dollars it used to be a hundred dollars or a hundred pounds in coupons um, but I'm not sure if they've changed that, but it's still a really good deal. But you only get that if you use a code when you download the app and you're a first time user as well. So, yeah, make sure to take advantage of that and get some money off because I didn't know that when I first got the app and I didn't use anyone's code and didn't get any discount. So, yeah, don't miss out on that. So first couple of things, I got a couple of boxes of tips. Now, there's only 120 in each of these boxes, but... Um, that is because I want to try them and see what the shape is like and everything before, you know, I order sort of a bigger box. So I'm just going to open these two because I've got two different ones and then we'll open them up and have a look what the C-curve's like and stuff. Okay, so the first one are some almond tips. And I don't usually use this shape, but I do want to use some different shapes because for different designs... They are, um, it is, you know, interesting to use different shapes. So this is the zero and I can already tell that this is quite small. I mean, I know I've got a nail on this, this thumb. How gorgeous is this? This is the, um, the rubber base from Kiki London. Uh, so yeah, I've already got a nail on, but this is a zero and that's not even, it's not even fitting from side to side. So these are quite small, but I do like the shape of those. Um, and they don't have a really big apex, but there would be enough. So if you wanted to use those as um, like sort of gel X type, you could, because they're very, very flexible. Um, so that was the, is that the zero? Is there another? I'll just check if that's the biggest size. Yeah, because that's a one, so that is the biggest size as well, so... Yeah, if you've got um, bigger fingers, they're not going to fit. I know a lot of people have trouble with the thumbs. I'm quite lucky where my hands and my nails are quite small. I usually, you know, the biggest one I usually use is sort of a one or, a, or even a two sometimes. Right, so these ones are like tapered square. Well, they don't look very tapered, to be honest. They just look like square. But I can already tell, if you look there... They have got quite a strong C curve then. So yeah, they would be good for doing sort of like lazy girl nails, I think. Um, if you like that shape. Uh, but yeah, they're quite short, so they'll be good just for me to use without um, having to file too much off. Right, and I've got a few um, stickers and decals. So I've got these that are butterfly ones. So let's open these. Oh, wow, those are really nice. So, yeah, I just like the look of them, and I really like butterflies. I don't use them enough. When I tend to get packs of decals, I get loads of different things, and I only end up using the butterflies. So that's why I thought I'll just get ones with just butterflies. These are really good. I'm really impressed with these, you know. I thought they were going to be a bit rubbish because they are really cheap. But they're not, and they're all really different. I'm really chuffed with those. So I'll definitely be using them. Right, sticking with the butterfly theme, I saw these as well. And I don't know if you can see, 
Uh, I don't need to take them out of the packet. They are, they're embossed ones, but the really, the line work on them is really fine. And I thought there's no way I can freehand anything like that. And I just thought they look really nice, but they're not really too embossed. They're on, only a little bit. So you're not going to have trouble sort of top coating those if you want to. So that's just one sheet in there. And then I got these ones. Um, I think they came up on the search because I put butterflies in. So they have got butterflies, but they're like lace. And I have got um, sort of black lace stuff, but I haven't got anything white. And I just really like some of this. I like this bit up here. Because you can get stamping plates like that. But I thought, well, I'll get a sticker and see if that looks as good. And these are slightly embossed as well. I really like this one at the bottom. So that's vintage lace, that one's called. And that's 6D, I don't know. I don't know what 6D is, but definitely embossed. Very nice. Right, next I got some of these. And these are just tiny little, um, like, applicators. And these are really good for doing patterns with gel polish. You know, sort of just sponging off a tiny little bit. So I've got some bigger sponges for doing ombres with, but I wanted some of these because I have used these in the past and they are really good. So, yeah, I wanted some of those. Uh, right next to these, these are those little sticky tabs that you use to um, put nails on your practice hand. So I've got my practice hand and I tend to just slide the tips into it, the really long ones, but I want to try this method where you put one of these on and then you stick the tip onto it. And then you can um, you can put your gel polish or whatever all over the entire nail tip. So when you pull the nail out, you've not got a bit that's not got anything on it. Um, and then you can take the photographs of them as you want to without them having to be in the practice hand. It just makes it a bit more versatile. So they are really, really thin. I've used these before, but they weren't this thin. They were quite thick, so I'm really impressed. I didn't expect them to be that thin. So yeah, they're really good. And obviously you can use these for putting press on nails on as well. So, you know, if you just want to wear them for a couple of days, you can just stick one of these onto your, your nail plate. Um, and then you just put the press on nail on top of it and you're not using any of that um, that nail glue then. I really don't like nail glue that comes with um you know press on nails and stuff i really don't like that stuff right okay so next i got these and you probably know what these are just by looking at them they're like little stencil stickers so you can use them as a sticker or as a stencil so i'm just going to open them so there are lots of different ones i hope sorry about the um the hollow so you can't really see because there's too much of a reflection So sorry if that's blinding you, but you can see how many different ones there are. There's like waves and hearts and stars, um, water, drops, swirls, circles, fish, all sorts of different ones. You've even got them that have got a quite a nice pattern on. So what you do is you would, if you wanted to use them as a sticker, you would just take off, like say one of these butterflies and then stick that on your nail and you can top coat that and then you've got a hollow butterfly. Or you can just take this part, sort of the outside part, lay that down on your nail. And then if you watch my Timu haul from last time, you'll see that I got the sponges for doing ombres with. So you would put some gel polish on your sponge, you do your ombre with this stencil on your nail. And then when you remove it, you know, you've got You've got the shape sort of ombre onto your nail. Or you could stick the stickers on, ombre your nail, and then take the stickers off. And then you've got sort of, um, what's it called? A negative space one. So there's loads of different options with those. So that's why I got them. And they should last me a while because there's quite a few. Right, okay, next I've got a lot of stamping stuff. I haven't done stamping for absolutely ages. Um, I've not got any stamping stuff of my own anymore because I did get rid of it all. Um, those of you who know, I didn't do nails for a while and I did get rid of most of my stuff. So I've had to get a lot more sort of stamping plates and stuff. So I've got a load of plates and I've got this mini stamper. So this is really nice. It's a dual head one. 
Uh, one of the heads is like milky and the other ones are clear. So I'm just going to open this up. So yeah, you've got one half that's like milky. And I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than this actually, but it's not. So that's going to be quite good actually. So yeah, if you just want one image for your nail, I mean, you've seen the size of my nails. This is perfect. I don't need a great big stamper because my nail's only that big. I think these are like easier to hold. Obviously you can't see through it though, can you? I have got a different stamper. I've got a clear stamper as well. I'm just gonna see if this twists off. No, it doesn't twist off so you can't sort of take it off and use it that way, but that's okay. And then it comes with these. So this is your scraper. It's a cute one, it's got snowflakes on it. That is quite um, a tough scraper. It's not one of those really, really thin pieces of plastic. It's, it's um, quite tough, that one. And I think this, you can use this as a scraper, but I think you can actually stamp with it as well. So I think you would use, well, you'd use stamping polish or stamping gel and you can pick that up. So that is that little stamper. And then I've got all these plates. So let's have a look at some of these. I'll tell you what I haven't got. I haven't got any stamping polish, but I have ordered it, it's on its way. So yeah, I ordered some stamping polish and some stamping gel as well. So we'll see how I get on with that. So this is the first one. Um, and we've got flowers. I like, I think I got it for these ones. I like, I really like this flower here with a bit of the uh, negative space there. And I like these butterflies as well. So yeah, there's some really nice images on there because we're coming up to spring, aren't we? We need, we need flowers for spring. So can anyone tell me if the stamping plates from Timu are any good? To be honest, the reason I got rid of my stamping stuff was because I was just, I've always been a bit rubbish at stamping. But I'm determined to give it another go. So this is like um, a check pattern or tartan or whatever you want to call it. But there's lots of different different types there. So I like that because there's like some thicker ones and some like thinner ones like these. So this is the same kind of thing as that other one. I hope you can see it. All right. Mermaid scales. And this was like, you know, part of the... The tart and all the, the plaid. This one comes with instructions. Two lots of instructions. They put two in there. More flowers. Yeah, so there's a rose there. That rose. And I like this one as well. Oh, so this is butterfly themed as well. And then this is the last one. And this has got some flowers on it as well. Okay, so that is everything from this haul. So um, let me know in the comments what you like. Have you got any of this stuff? Have you used these stencils? Um, have you tried stamping gel? Because I've never tried it. Um, and it's something that I don't know whether to bother with or not, or whether I should just use the polish. Um, yeah, and I've got a lot of stuff here that I can do spring nails with. So I can't wait to start doing that and using some of this stuff. So yeah, um, links to everything that is in the video will be in the description box. If I can't find that exact link or the item isn't available, I will find a link to the same product or something that is almost identical. Um, even if it's from another seller. So I'll try and do that for you so that you can get the exact same if you want that. Uh, yeah, uh, let me know as well if anyone's tried stamping plates from Timu. Are they any good? Because obviously I've never tried them before. So yeah, I want to say a big thank you to Timu for sponsoring this video and a big thank you to you for watching this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing for more hauls and tutorials and videos like this. And I will see you in the next one. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.